if uh, spamped in Joseph? Uh, what do I think of him? Uh, I, on the normal route, I, I do feel bad for him. Uh, um, um, he realized he couldn't be nothing more than a puppet. That all his misdeeds it amounted to nothing. Anything he could never accomplish his goal. You know, even on the darker route, I mean, yeah, I don't really feel all that bad for him because he did kind of bring his fate upon himself. I mean, technically he did so on the normal route, but either way, he just wanted it to be in control for once. It's, I guess that's part of why Chris kind of uh, empathized with, uh, with them. Um, they felt uh, a connection in that way. They were sympathetic towards him. Exactly. And Spamton, while self-projecting a lot onto Chris, did seem to somewhat realize that, that Chris felt like they were nothing more than a puppet. It, and Spamton wanted to be free. Exactly. Spamton did seem pretty genuine when and he said that when he would take Chris's soul... Oh, they would be together and see past the darkness as, and into heaven. But who do you think was the one who was on the other end of the phone when talking with him? The other one, can, do you think it was the same person who was controlling him? Um, hard to say. The strings were definitely connected to someone. Someone had to be pulling them, that's for sure. Spamton himself may have actually known, but was too afraid to say anything. So, it's someone that he feared. Do you think it was Gaster? Well, the theory is, is that the person who is handing out the shadow crystals to the bonus bosses like Spamton and Jebel is Gaster. There's so many different references to him. For instance, after Jebel is defeated and you get more information about him from Shom, the shopkeeper, who used to be the Card Kingdom court magician and, and Jevil's friend. Well, at the very least, they think uh, they won't uh, uh, complain if you call him uh, uh, him their friend. And saying that you could say that or not say that. But uh, anyway, said that after Jevil uh, uh, went insane and they had to lock him up, their worldview got darker or yet darker. A phrase that is commonly used with Gaster, and it was mentioned in the normal route after Spamton's demise by one of the Addisons, who went to his room to check on him when he was evicted from the Queen's Mansion, that the phone that he was always on, uh, and when he put the receiver to his ear, there was...